Welcome back to getting to know our heavenly family as we learn about today's saint, Saint Agatha. Today's her feast day. Also known as Agatha of Sicily, one of the most highly venerated virgin martyrs of the Catholic Church. It's believed that she was born around 231 in either Catania or Palermo, Sicily, to a rich and noble family. From her early years, the notably beautiful Agatha dedicated her life to God. She became a consecrated virgin, a state in life where young women choose to remain celibate and give themselves wholly to Jesus and the church in a life of prayer and service. That did not stop men from desiring her and making unwanted advances toward her. However, one of the men who desired Agatha was named Quintinius because he was of a high diplomatic ranking and thought he could force her to turn away from her vow and force her to marry. His persistent proposals were consistently spurned by Agatha, and he, knowing that she was a Christian during the persecution, had her arrested and brought before the judge. Of course, he was the judge. He expected her to give in to his demands when, he was, when she was faced with torture and possible death, but she simply reaffirmed her belief in God. And she, she said, praying, Jesus Christ, Lord of all, you see my heart, you know my desires, possess all that I am. I am your sheep. Make me worthy to overcome the devil. With tears falling from her eyes, she prayed for courage. To force her to change her mind, he had her imprisoned in a brothel. Agatha never lost her confidence in God, even though she suffered a month of assaults and efforts to get her to abandon her vow to God and go against her virtue. Quintinius heard of her calm strength and ordered that she be brought before him once again. During inter interrogation, she told him that to be a servant of Jesus Christ was her true freedom. Enraged, he sent her off to prison instead of back to the brothel, a move intended to make her even more afraid, but it was probably a great relief to her. Agatha continued to proclaim Jesus as her Savior, Lord, life, and hope. Quintinius ordered her to be tortured. He had her stretched on a rack to be torn with iron hooks, burned with torches, and whipped. Noticing Agatha was enduring all this torture with a sense of cheer, he commanded that she be subjected to a worse form of torture. This evil man ordered that her breasts be cut off. He then sent her back to prison with an order of no food and no medical attention. But the Lord gave her all the care she needed. He was her divine physician. Agatha had a vision of the apostle Peter who comforted her and healed her wounds through his prayers. After four days, Quintinius ignored the miraculous cure of her wounds. He had her stripped naked and rolled over hot coals, which were mixed with sharp shards. When she was returned to prison, Agatha prayed, Lord, my creator, you have ever protected me from the cradle. You have taken me from the love of the world and given me patience to suffer. Receive now my soul. She is believed to have passed into heaven around the year 251. She is commonly featured in religious art with shears, tongs, or breast on a plate. St. Agatha is the patron of Sicily, bell founders, breast cancer patients, Palermo, rape victims, and wet nurses. She's also considered to be a powerful intercessor when people suffer from fires. Her feast day is celebrated on February 5th today. Let us pray. O glorious St. Agatha, through whose intercession in Christ I hope for the restored health of body and soul, hasten to lead me to the true good, God alone. By your intercession, O blessed Agatha, may I ever enjoy your protection by faithfully witnessing to Christ. You invite all who come to you to enjoy the treasure of communion with the Holy Trinity. Moreover, if it be for God's greater glory and the good of my person, intercede for me with the request I mention now. St. Agatha, you found favor with God by your chastity and by your courage in suffering death for the gospel. Teach me how to suffer with cheerfulness, uniting myself to Christ, crucified with the simplicity and purity of heart. Amen. St. Agatha, eloquent confessor of Jesus Christ as Savior, pray for me. St. Agatha, the martyr who says to Jesus, possess all that I am. Pray for me. St. Agatha, concerned with the welfare of all God's children, pray for me. St. Agatha, pray for me. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go take on the day, everyone. God bless you.